Duke is a prestigious university here in America, located in North Carolina. But if you're gonna study here as a student, a big question is, where am I gonna live? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down the top options, especially off-campus options for international students. Don't miss it. Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob, and at Chine Coaching, we love helping people find success in their cross-cultural journeys, especially international students with studying abroad. We're gonna focus in on Duke's top housing options for students. And you guys are gonna learn a lot, learn the cost, the location, and other helpful amenities for choosing the best housing option. Ronak, go ahead and start us off with Erwin Terrace. Uh, hi guys, this is Ronak Shah from Mumbai, and I'm here at Duke studying for the Master of Engineering Management program with, uh, with Shikaj and Bhavika. And I have done my undergrad from NMIMS University in Mumbai. So when it comes to Duke housing, uh, first option I would like to share is about Urban Terrace where I am staying currently. Urban Terrace, is, this is the name of the apartment. It is located on the west campus of uh, Duke University. So basically you will find two options that is the west and the east campus housing. So th this apartment is located on the uh, west campus and uh, you will find many different options uh, like two bedroom apartments depending on different sizes. I guess all of them are two bedroom but then they have different sizes like different square feet of apartment. Okay, so what is the cost for rent and utilities? So it is divided into three parts. So one is called as Amber. Amber is basically, uh, I guess, 11 or 1200 square feet apartment and that is costing $1,800 per month. Another one is Emerald. It is around 14 to 1500 square feet and it is costing uh, $2,000 uh, per month. And the third one is the Diamond, which has one extra room. Like it is a two bedroom apartment, but it has one extra study room. So basically you can make it into three room apartment as well, but uh, that is costing around uh, two to five zero dollars per month. So people like who, who all I know over here, they are not sharing their rooms because it is actually costly and the room size are really huge. So I'm staying at the diamond suite, like we are accommodating four people and yeah, it's really huge and we can easily accommodate uh, more people if we want. But then yeah, that's the restriction that we have four people maximum. And what are the prices for like utilities and Wi-Fi and things like that? So when it comes to utilities, I would say electricity is not included, but water is included in our rent itself. So electricity bill usually comes around 100 to $150 depending on season. So like if you are using heater a lot more nowadays, then it might shoot up, but then usually it should be roughly between 100 to 120 bucks. So Ronak, you mentioned this is on the west side. How's the connectivity towards the campus and safety in this area? Uh, so if you're staying on the west campus, I would say there are many, you will find many options, but the nearest option I would say is Urban Terrace, at least to the Pratt School of Engineering yeah. where my most of the courses happen. So Urban Terrace would be the nearest. It is hardly 10 to 12 minutes walk and we also have bus, bus options, so the bus stop is just in front of our main entrance. So we can also take the buses that we have. Uh, Duke provides bus service. So that is the uh, travel options that we got. And in terms of safety, uh, this apartment is actually located on the main road. Like uh, there are many uh, traffic and like usually a lot of people going by. So it is really safe compared to other options i would say but it actually depends from person to person like anything might happen at any time so basically you need to take care of yourself uh, at all times and what kind of amenities and facilities are there available in the apartment community we have uh, acs we have uh, heaters and then we talking about the kitchen we have microwave refrigerator uh, water filters we have most of the things covered up it's not a fully furnished apartment but i can call it as a semi furnished uh, you just don't have furniture like uh, beds and dining tables or the car and those stuffs are not available, but you can get that on a lot cheaper rates from your seniors or many students around here. Ronak, is there anything like a, a swimming pool or gym or clubhouse or anything like that for hanging out? Unfortunately, no, there's nothing uh, apart from these amenities at Irvin Terrace. You will find many of these stuff at many different places nearby Duke University. But uh, yeah, I would say this is one of the disadvantage at Irvin Terrace. It does not have any gym or swimming pool and any other amenities. It's just normal building. Uh, but yeah, it has uh, many restaurants on the ground floor and one of them is Indian restaurant. So if you like, we, we are Indian, so we definitely hang out over there many a time. So this is the closest place to any Indian restaurant if you want to go. So there's some good restaurants nearby. Yeah. Awesome. That's great to hear. What about the management? How is the management there? Management is actually really good. So 
just giving an incident uh, that happened yesterday like uh, in our washroom uh, the water clogged in our washroom so like uh, we just called our management and they were in our house within 4 to 5 minutes so uh, it it actually does not cost us anything it is included in our rent so anything there is any emergency in terms of management or any something happens in your place then we can call up them and they will be here uh, within few minutes itself so we don't have to pay anything extra for that that's great any other final pros and cons people need to know about urban terrace if you are coming to duke and planning to stay on the west campus i would say there were no seniors of ours who were staying at this place earlier we were actually a lot late and we couldn't find a place where our seniors were staying so we found out this new place and it is really amazing it is not having any amenities i would say that is one of the disadvantages like swimming pool and gym but uh, definitely a uh, huge space and uh, easily i would say 8 to 10 people and accommodate in it but yeah we are allowed to just accommodate four people wonderful thanks so much ranak okay now bavika tell us about partners place hi everyone my name is bavika panchala i am from bombay i am also studying in masters of engineering management here at duke i did my undergrad in srm university chennai so in terms of uh, the place that i'm staying at which is partners place it is quite spacious it's a three bed three bath and we're only allowed to have three people there are a couple of flats that have converted one of the rooms so we have a dining room uh, which is converted into the fourth room but generally uh, we are only allowed to have three people in a house it's quite spacious i think it's around uh, 100 000 square feet or 100 and uh, 1001 square feet something of that sort I, i might be wrong but in terms of the utilities and everything available in the flat most of the flats are fully furnished my flat isn't and i think it's one of the outliers but most of the flats are fully furnished with all the amenities and every utilities available at, at home which is the fridge then you have oven microwave washer dryer everything included in the kitchen for rent i would say it would cost you around uh, 1800 to 2000 dollars depending on how furnished your house is and depending on your owner since we don't have a management system per se it really depends on your landlord it's very individualistic here you need to speak to either your property manager or your landlord to, to negotiate your rent and um, that's quite flexible in term, terms of the amenities i don't think we have any amenities available except we have a lot of parking space so if you have a car it's great there's no gym uh, neither do you have um, any swimming pool or anything but i think duke does a great job at providing us all of that this apartment is also located in the west campus we i live on the la salle loop area um it's it's i would say around 20 to 25 minutes walk to campus if you can sprint then you can get there by in 10 minutes but yeah that would be it and what about the safety in that area tricky question cuz it really depends on an individual and the kind of protocols you set for yourself and with your flatmates and roommates you are living with and even your friends for that matter because walking back on the lasal loop area is not considered quite safe with all the incidents that have happened previously but if you have friends to walk with or if you have at least one person to walk with i think it's completely safe uh just not walking alone it's a suburban area in the us so i wouldn't suggest to people to do that bhavika are there any other kind of things to do around there with with shops restaurants or things or is it uh kind of far away from stuff this particular location la salu area and a partners place itself is a little farther away from shops and restaurants but it's a good option in in terms of the space you get your own bathroom and i i think that's one of the things that you you have to trade off so yeah that way i feel like i'm quite content with everything around me there's a bus stop i think i have we have two bus stops right in front of the entrance so you can take either of the buses at any point of time and you said there's no management uh property management so it's each apartment's going to have its own landlord or property manager correct right okay it's easier and, to negotiate and it's quite personalized as well so i have a really good rapport with a uh, my landlord so i can if and when needed i can negotiate or if and when needed i can ask her for things and she's still okay with accommodating it so that way it makes it a more personalized experience for each individual but i understand people who would want a management great any other final pros and cons about partners place for my cohort for the batch of 2021 we had a lot of people living here so it felt quite homely once people started moving out it felt quite distant so <laughs> i think that's one of the pro and cons to it yeah so at least you can have some good friends and community there yeah 
do. That's great. Thank you so much. If you're planning to study abroad, then here's two resources on how you can save money. First is Juno. Juno is a company that provides tuition loans and health medical insurance for students. We've had Chai and Coaching community friends get approved and get great rates. Or you can also refinance your current loan to get a better interest rate or maybe find a better price on your student medical health insurance what the university provides as well. So check out Juno to save money and get a better tuition rate. We'd love to help you out with that. And a second great resource is WISE. WISE is my preferred way to wire and transfer money across the world. It's fast, it's secure, and it's cheap. They got the lowest fees. You also get a free wire transfer up to $600 if you use that link. So we're hooking you up with a free wire transfer. Again, WISE is how I send money around the world to pay friends, business stuff, and it's gonna save you a lot of money as well, passing money back and forth. Uh, to your bank accounts to pay that tuition. So Wise is, I highly recommend it. So again, if you guys want to save money, check out Juno and Wise. We'll have the links to help you guys be successful on your journeys abroad. Next up is Campus Walk. Uh, Shikaj, tell us about that one. Hi, I'm Shikaj. I come from a small town in uh, Maharashtra called Jalgaon. Uh, and I've done my engineering back in India from College of Engineering, Pune. I'm studying Master of Engineering Management here at Duke along with Bhavika and Ronak. And I live in Campus Walk Avenue. This particular place is owned by the Trinity Properties. So they are the managing bodies of Campus Walk per se. And they also have some other apartments called like Poplar West, Holly Hills under their umbrella. To talk more about like Campus Walk, previously, a couple of years earlier, it used to be the main hub of the MEM students as and when we have seen the pandemic and as there has been a couple of crime incidents in campus walk area so people have started to move out to places like partners place or as ronak has moved out to arvind terrace so but yeah it still is uh one of the reasonable and the cheaper option to stay in if you're looking to live with group of two or three people with you so i am staying in a three bedroom to bath apartment we are three people we all have our personal rooms the rent is around 1380 for us so around 1400 this is just the rent uh we pay the water and the electricity and the wi-fi separately so yeah i think it's pretty cheap deal when it comes to uh, if you want your own room and you do not want to share it as well as the bus stop that is there we have duke transit buses and the bus stop for that is right across the street like so you don't have to walk a lot to catch the bus yeah i think apart from that if you want to know about indian store and how do you get there so in general uh durham is not that great with indian stores uh we just have like one very accessible store that delivers to our places for a fee of five dollars so we usually do that we have the contact of that person and then we just ask them to deliver to our places. So apart from that, uh, when you talk about Indian stores, I would just like to add, uh, we have Walmart, Target and a few of the shop centers nearby. So like we can catch bus and it takes around 15, 20 minutes in bus to go over there. So, but like if you go in cab, it would hardly take you around five minutes. So it's nearby, but then uh, you need some transportation. You can't uh, walk till then. I can Correct. add to that and give you a solution. And this is something that I've, I've done all through my journey at Duke. We got an Instacart subscription, I think, the third month uh, here in the US. And we've been sharing that amongst like two, three or four houses. And we don't have any problem at all. Our groceries are delivered at home to our place every week and quite comfortably uh, without having any issues. If there is any refund, it's refunded back to your bank account or uh, to your account on Instacart. And that is one of the options you can choose as well. Get a delivery service for yourself. Yeah, I would highly recommend that as well. Uh, and like you even get uh, Instacart subscriptions on some credit cards. Like, So if you want to talk about like banks that are near to us, most of us uh, have chosen Chase Bank or Wells Fargo. Chase credit card actually gives you three months of Instacart memberships and we have three roommates. So the year is sorted uh, right there. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how we have worked it out. But yeah, definitely it is more preferred than going there. And a one trip, all these stores would be a one hour investment at least. So uh, mm -hmm. save time. 
Real quick, back to Campus Walk, Shrikaj. Anything more about the amenities, facilities, or, or management? The management is really great, and they are very responsive. So just to give you an incident, we had our dryer. It was not working properly. They came the same day. We just have to uh, mail them. They came the same day, and they saw that it would not be working for a couple of more days until they get a part replaced. So they replaced the entire dryer in 30 minutes. They just got a new one for us. So uh, <laughs> that was uh, really cool. And apart from that, amenities wise, we have washer dryer in place. We have dishwasher and refrigerator that comes along with the apartment. Generally, it's like non- not furnished. And if you want to take over the furniture from the previous tenants, you just have to like talk to them. But yeah, usually it's not furnished. The amenities, like if you want to, know about gym or pool there's no such thing we rely mostly on duke recreation center for that and i think it's just good to do that because even if apartment complex has those the pool is only open for three months a year and then the all of the rest of the time they will have some reasons to close it so it's just wise to not give more money because they have a pool and on gym i mean it's just better to go with your buddies and and work out in the duke gym than in the apartment gyms. Sounds good. We have a couple other off-campus notable mentions. We've got Belmont and Chapel Towers. So, Ronak, what, what do people need to know about those? When it comes to Belmont and Chapel Towers, they both are quite uh, nearby to the campus. And I would say like the rent is also quite similar for both. So, for Belmont, uh, we have different options. Like they have two bath, two bed, one bath, and three bed, two bath options. So the rent uh, is usually for two bed, uh, two bath is the most attractive one that people choose and the rent for that one is around $1,600. But when it comes to Chapel Towers, they, I guess they just have two bed, one, uh, two bed, two bath options and their rent is roughly $1,450, $1,500 per month. Like if you prefer an uh, individual room, then I would say the best option amongst all the ones that we have given would be Campus Walk. Or partner's place. Partner's place is a bit expensive, but then we are really huge rooms and one of the most attractive choices, I would say, for international students. I am actually sharing a room. So if people are okay in sharing their rooms, then uh, definitely Irvin Terrace could one of be could be one of the top priorities for students. Uh, and when it comes to Belmont Chapel does they have good amenities. Like they have a swimming pool, they have their own gym, they have that uh, barbecue section and many fancy stuff. But yeah, it depends from individuals. So like whether you think those are the priorities or not. Those I would say are additional amenities. Like uh, if you talk about swimming pool, yeah, as Shikhat said that uh, they are usually closed. And if you want to swim, then you have great huge Olympic size swimming pool at Duke. So you could go there. And talking about gym, you, you won't have many options in gym. Like you won't find many, like there'll be just treadmills or a few particular things. There wouldn't be other specialized stuff. So Duke Gym is also nearby, just 10 minutes walk. So you can use those. And uh, Chapel is actually nearest to the uh, Fuqua School of Business. So if you plan to go to Fuqua, then uh, Chapel might be one of the top priority for you. And uh, yeah, bus stops, I would say bus stops are just outside both the apartments, Chapel as well as Belmont. So uh, I guess all the apartments that most of the international students say uh, bus stops are just located outside their main entrance. So it's quite flexible. But yeah, the bus comes after every 30 or 35 minutes. So if you miss your bus, then you'll have to wait or you'll have to miss your class. You will have to go walking. I usually miss my bus. So I go and I walk and come back to my uh, place. So my apartment is quite nearby and uh, it just takes 10 to 12 minutes for me to go and walk to the campus. My friends, if you're learning a lot, hit that like button to say thanks to Ronak, Shikaj, and Bhavika sharing this great information about all the housing options. And our chai question for you guys is what do you think is the best housing option at Duke? Let us know in the comments, uh, which one do you prefer? Um, Let us know on campus, off campus, or which one of these is in your experience the best one or which one would you recommend? Now, lastly, let's wrap up and talk about the on-campus. And Ronak, what do people need to know about on-campus housing at Duke? So when it comes to on-campus housing, uh, it is just for undergrads. Uh, Grad students are not allowed. And uh, there are two options. That is the West Campus and the East Campus. East Campus is just focusing on freshmen. Most of the freshmen, I would say there are few uh, sophomores who stay on East Campus, but others like seniors and uh, juniors, they usually stay on the West Campus. So they have different kinds of dorms that are named as like Kilgo is one of the cord name K-I-L-G-O that I know. Each pod will have different housing options. Like they, they have individual rooms, they have two bedrooms, 
they ha- they might have three bedroom and it is quite optional whether you want to share or you want it as individual room so it depends from uh, each dorm to dorm just talking about this one particular cot that i got information from one of my friend is that uh, if you want amenities like ac heater and all then the rent is roughly between 6000 to $7000 for an indiv- individual room and uh, if you are sharing a room like it is if it is a two bed room then uh, rent would go at around $4500 and if it is a three bed room then it is $4000 so these are few options that i got to know for on campus but uh, we also have uh, resident assistant jobs that i guess we missed out so grad students can take that job and they get the chance to stay on campus with undergrads so that is one of the uh, good option if you plan to stay on campus i just visited one of my friends place and it is really amazing the surrounding at duke is really good so i think the rent and cost might be a bit uh, higher in terms of on campus and off campus housing but then if you prefer on campus housing you have great environment and the classes are also just uh, hardly 2 3 minutes walking so that is definitely one of the top choices wonderful and to learn even more about duke university we filmed a completely different video uh, a student review talking about top programs tuition scholarships job scope so check out the link for this other uh, duke student review we've made with these friends uh, to learn more about the college to see if when you're shortlisting duke as an option for you my friends ronak bavika shikaj thank you so much uh, you guys super helpful and i know students will be so thankful for your your wisdom here thanks a lot rob thanks a lot always a pleasure rob thank you thank definitely you. we appreciate you guys so much here's your friendly reminder that you need to check out juno and wise the two great resources to help you save money abroad on tuition loans health insurance and wire transfers check out the links if you want to save money you guys watching, be sure to connect with us online as well on social media like LinkedIn, Instagram. Be connected to our Chine Coaching e-newsletter where we send out weekly updates with tips, information, resources, upcoming events. We love having you guys be part of the Chine Coaching community. Thanks for tuning in and best of luck at Duke University. Cheers. Cheers.